we've been burning hot trash and turning it into energy for the last three decades in Metro Vancouver at this facility. But for the first time, Vancouver's River District will be the first neighborhood in the region to have their heating and hot water powered by waste, making a pivot away from natural gas. We will be providing this preheated water without natural gas. Basically, it's at the waste to energy facility. We'll heat it for them and we will pipe it from waste to energy facility, which is about six kilometers of piping to River District. And that's just the first phase. The new energy project is a step towards Metro Vancouver becoming a carbon neutral region by 2050, with the potential to save 45,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions per year. Sab Dhaliwal says this new system will provide heating and hot water for 18,000 residents. It will also heat more than 500,000 square feet of commercial space. The big thing is about that this is now reduces the energy uh, uh, and it reduces the carbon footprint by 90% whopping 90% from the way we heat our space and and we heat our homes and, and businesses. The first phase of building the energy system will cost $55 million. An energy center will be built beside this facility and a piping system spanning several kilometers underground towards Vancouver's River District. Dhaliwal and Metro Vancouver couldn't say how much each homeowner would save per year, but they say it's overall more affordable. It's a much more affordable in terms of both from the from the consumers as well as also the, the heat providers as well. You don't need to install heat hot water heater in your house uh, it's already coming through so so people will be ultimately saving consumers will be saving those costs project design is set to begin early this year and the first phase of construction is supposed to begin in 2023 in burnaby kirjunos city news